We are going to start with a 2x long dry fly hook, like this Daiichi 1280. Place your hook in the vise securely, and then start your thread a couple eye lengths down the hook shank. Then bring your thread all the way back to the start of the bend of the hook. Now measure out some 2mm fly foam to about your hook gap length. An easy way to do this is to score the edge with the hook point. Then cut it with some long scissors, as straight and as even as you possibly can. Then cut a very fine strip of white, or some other easy to notice color, that we will use for an indicator spot. Set your foam on top of the hook shank, so the end extends to about where you started your thread. Then make loose open spiral wraps up the foam, ensuring that the foam stays on top of the hook. After the foam is on the hook, then you can come back down it with tighter wraps to secure the foam tightly. Then go back up and back down, cleaning up the section and compressing the foam further. Now we will dub on some ice dub. I am using the peacock color. Traditionally these are tied with peacock curl, but I find peacock colored ice dub is more flashy and provides a more buggy look. It is also more durable and less expensive to use. You want to dub this on fairly tightly, but also make a long noodle to be able to fill up the hook shank with thick wraps of dubbing. Now proceed to wrap the dubbing up the hook, making it thicker in the center of the hook and tapering off at the ends. And you can add more dubbing if you need to. Now we will prepare the legs. I'm using medium round rubber legs in black, but you can use fine or even other colors if you like. Cut the long strip in half, and then in half again, leaving you with four even pieces. Then fold one of those pieces in half, and then half again. And tie that in perpendicular to the hook shank. You can achieve this with two wraps over them, then two wraps over them in the opposite direction forming an X on top of the legs. And this method is called X wraps for a good reason. Sorry my fat fingers are in the way. But after you make your X wraps, then pull the legs rearward and make a few tight wraps in front of them to keep them locked into place. Pull your foam forward over all the materials and pull the legs rearward. Then make a few wraps over the foam, increasing the tightness with each wrap until it is locked into place. Now you can trim your legs. Cut the loops first, creating four separate legs on each side then cut the legs to length. I generally like to keep them about the same length as the beetle's body. Then place the white foam on top of the black foam and tie it in with a small tag sticking out forward. Then cut off the weights of the foam close to create two equal portions. Pull back the foam rearward and make a few wraps underneath it. And then whip finish your fly under the foam. Now I'm not sure why I didn't do this here, but it's much easier to whip finish if you pull all the foam back while completing the whip finish. Oh well, you get the idea hopefully. Now you can make a head on the beetle. Cut the black foam off square and straight. And hopefully more straight than I did here. Now you can leave it straight, as many people do, or you can round off the head by cutting off the corners of the foam. This is up to you. Cement the head and you're finished. Just make sure that the eye is clear of any cement before taking off your vise. And there we have it, a foam beetle. These float high and are very easy and inexpensive to tie, and are deadly given the right conditions for a number of species including trout, panfish, bass, and more. Here's a clip of me catching a bluegill with this pattern. I also wanted to remind you that all the materials used today are in the description section of this video, but you might have to click the show more button to expand the section to view. I also have included links to where you can purchase them online. I have also included a discount code for the fly artist as well, as a special thank you for being my subscriber. So please use that as you won't be able to find deals this good anywhere else. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.